Hi, this is Jackie Higgins from Ready, Set, Read to Me .com, and today I'm sharing 14 ways to explore the letters in your child's name. Not only is it an important skill for your child to learn, but generally some of the first letters a child will learn are the letters in their own name. So today I've compiled a list of 14 practical and powerful ways for your child to work on learning the letters in her name. And I asked some bloggers who are experienced experts in early literacy, early childhood play, um, to share some of their best posts. And you can find a list of the links at readysetread2me.blogspot.com. You can find more information on the individual posts and um, you can come by Ready, Set, Read for the resource. So the, when I was trying to teach my boys the letters and their names, I started with um, these letter learning cards from Making Learning Fun. And they really loved driving their trucks around and making the letter formations. And then pretty soon we moved on to these Play-Doh name puzzles that were really easy and really fun. Nurture Store shared some tips for helping your child learn to write their name. And my favorite tip is to write your child's name everywhere. It's easy to do. I started doing it until your child can write his own name. Hands On As We Grow has a cool indoor string scavenger hunt. And if you check out her post, you can see how she used that to teach her son the letters in his name. If you go check out Time for Play, she used rocks and markers and painted them and wrote the letters of her child's name on them. That's great for left to right directionality. And if you go over to Teach Preschool, you can find the directions for a name game that two kids can play together or you could play with your child. Also at Happy Hooligans, there's a name puzzle, but you gotta check out the post to find out how she made these textured name puzzles. They're pretty cute. And over at the Imagination Tree, she used some different sensory um, activities too, but she used Play-Doh and wooden letters and made the letters in their names and made their names and really incorporated a lot of cool stuff if you really look down through the post. Creative with Kids used didn't use Play-Doh but they used salt instead so you gotta check it out to find out how she used salt and what she did to help her son learn the letters in his name. If all you have is some paper and some glue well come check out these name mosaics from Rainbows Within Reach. Um, she's got a lot of examples of them, so you can kind of take a look at it and then help your child create their own. Or if you want to kick it up a notch, mom to two posh little divas kicked it up with, um, she let her daughters raid her supply stash to make their name mosaics. If you go over to Kindergarten Basics, Kindergarten teacher Susan Case shares a whole list of ways to make your name in a tactile way. And then also over at Mommy with Selective Memory, um, the mom made these tactile name cards, but Susan Case wrote the educational benefits of using these name cards. And then one last one at Teach Preschool, digging up the letters of your name in preschool. My boys would love this because they love to dig. So remember, you can get all of the posts over at Ready, Set, Read, the number two, me.blogspot.com and have fun exploring the letters in your child's name.